Which one are we looking for? These guys? I think they're the same. Yeah. So what could it It's cool. So what kind of clown is this? Uh, I'm not sure, but... Those are brittle stars, probably. I think they're Plexoridae. It's a family Plexoridae. What is that? Coral? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what are we talking about? I, I'm talking about the coral. Oh. Itself. Yeah, she's talking about the associates. Oh, sorry. Uh, brittle stars? Yeah, brittle yeah. stars. We're just seeing the other side of them. Yeah. Do we want a snip of this, Chris? Sure. Yeah, do it. Oh, maybe the next well, watch. Next watch can do it. Yeah, so I'm yeah. full zoom. All right, it's time. Just in time for a little cheesecake break. All right, good night, world. We have twelve to four coming in. We're going to go eat some cheesecake and hit the hay. Good evening, everybody. 12 Good to 4 evening. watch is taking charge. So I understand we want a little piece of this coral? Uh, yes, we do. Excellent. We want to clip it and then slurp it into one of the chambers? I think that, that makes sense, yes. Okay, sweet. Anthony, you on? I am. I'm uh, doing watch changeover stuff right now. Okay. But let me know what you need me to do. Uh, zoom out right now just so I can get my bearings. Okay, sweet. Yeah, you're full wide. Uh, hey, Suno, which, are she still on? Which of the um, sample jars are good to go to? Uh, we only sampled one, so on, there's only a sponge in, in okay. one. The other ones are, are empty. Um, yeah. Gotcha. I'm just going to flush it right now. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. Did you see some of our clippings from last dive? Came, They were stuck in the hose. Oh, I didn't and know. Yeah, so they've, I see. they've come through. <laughs> now they're an official sample. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you following along at home, <laughs> our sample from last dive is now official. <laughs> All right. So we're on number two. Jar. All right, Anthony, you ready? You got your watch changeover stuff? No, done. But that's okay. No, I keep going. I keep I don't, doing it. I don't need the zoom yet. It doesn't take that long to zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Capiche?
All right, there we go. All right, can we get a zoom? Yep. Hello, hello. Hello? Hello. I need more space. What, are you tall or something? <laughs> <laughs> or something, yeah. Yes, for you, those of you at home, Scott is a very tall human. Very tall human. Uh, six, six? Yeah. Oh, geez, that was not a small piece. The whole thing came. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can suction that. We can't take you anywhere. Uh-oh. Right? <laughs> um, well, you want to just put it in a bio box? I think so. Okay. Uh, How's the front porch sounding? All of them are open. Okay. Uh, except for starboard E. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, can we just go front with this? Sure. It's a large Pull out. container. Yeah. 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 All right, well, we got a little bit more than we intended. Yeah, huh. there's also something that drifted off into a okay yeah a couple pieces and yeah something else there was some white yes. biology of some sort um, so okay so that's was. in zero four three well. okay i'll just keep a note of that okay um uh, bio box closed oh, it's closed yes Okay, thank you very much. So that was sample number 43. Yes. Talking to anybody? No, I don't know. Someone has a live mic. So, um, this is the sort of first decent bit of life we saw coming up the hill. Roger that. Thank you. Yeah. And so this would be a good spot maybe for a little um, photo box. Right on. Lily, you want to get those cameras ready? So they should all be up Chris? and running. <laughs> yeah, they should be up and running. You good? Yeah. yeah. So you can steal them. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just doing it for Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I dead wreck? Yeah, yeah. Before we do that? Yeah. And then we'll have real accurate data. And then what I would do, since these guys are small, I'd run this little survey at three meters or something like that. So looking in um, Argus Cam, uh, where's our stick of science? Uh, All right. I'll, I'll use my hand of science. So you're enough. looking like just in front of us here? Yeah, but, you know, so yeah like exactly. Right to the left there, you see some stuff. Do you want to get that big guy right there? Yeah, get over the, the, the left. pile of stuff that's still left. Um, so set up resetting? so you'll drive over that. Okay. Resetting? And then I would say um, do it at like three meter altitude Yeah. and three quarters of a meter spacing left to right between the lines. Okay. And maybe make each line seven, eight meters long, something like that. Does that okay. sound yeah. about right? Yeah. And bang out five, six lines. Yeah, sounds good. And um, this Lily knows what to watch for, for the overlap. And she can run the cameras. Yeah. Sorry, what? Roger that. Okay. So you're going to do five or six lines, three quarters of a meter apart from each other, for right. lots of overlap at three meter altitude, so we get some colors for this small stuff. Okay. And um, go from there. That'll keep you busy for a few minutes. Got and, it. Um, and I can do a changeover. And okay. You guys will keep moving. Tell me when I'm out to see. All right. Good. Yeah, I'm going to slide over 
uh, the port, and then we're going to start from there. Okay, I'm going to look here. That looks cool. Right? Yeah. That is Whoa. really Like a weird cool. spongy flower. It's a Dr. Seuss thing. Is that the name of the new survey? Uh, Gen New Survey. Sorry. Yes, now it is. That's now, right? Okay, yeah. survey. Now. Okay. 2019 um, 0730 Cool. Let me know when we're starting. Okay, I need one more minute. Yeah, I need to let the vehicle settle out too as I step over. So we have a, a little bit before we start this. Yeah, it's going, it's hunting around a whole meter. I don't want to run over that sponge. <laughs> I don't want you to run over that sponge. Yeah, I no, <laughs> let's get that sponge. <laughs> it's so cool. You see that? Yeah. Altitude change. Let's tone that down. Point two. Yeah, two is good. On the step for the altitude? Speed? Cool. I'm going to start taking pictures, and you can start whenever you're ready. OK. Just to make sure that they're taking and they're in focus and wait, nope, never mind. Hold on. So Hannah, are we doing depth based on Hercules and then calculating um, the bottom depth using like Hercules' altitude or are we just going off of Herc's depth? We've been going off of Herc. Okay. Yeah. Also, good morning. Good morning. I woke up a little late. <laughs> That's okay. Not Is there no ever. science too? Um, no, there's not. I believe for all the shifts, I think we're all right. we're short one person. I'm not sure if ASV is is um, tapping in. They might be, but I'm not sure. Come be friends with us. <laughs> I'm hoping they'll join at least here and there. Yeah. I know they're prepping for tomorrow, but yeah, yeah. We'll see. Hey, Peyton and I have some news. I had to change the survey ID because no. we were there. We had an <laughs> error. Wow. It wouldn't have Why do you do this to me? Oh my god, you have to write down a whole new string of numbers. The so horror. I tragic, know. tragic. Okay, one one zero six one five. Okay. Anna, any idea about the? Uh, species of this crazy looking sponge? Ooh. No, not yet. Let's look. Consult Still. the book. Consulting. 
It's a gorgeous sponge. Very beautiful. Oh, for sure. I kind of want to do a test run on this just to see how the, because right now the vehicle seems to be bouncing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, trying to find a happy place, and I don't want to start this and have it go crazy in the middle of it. So I just kind of want to do a test run. Yeah, that's fine if you want to just kind of practice. I think Lily's still getting the camera set. Uh, no, they're all set now. Oh, they're all set. Oh, nice. Okay. Maybe. Um, okay. Looks like they turned off. Oh, oh, there they are. Should we just record it in the event that it ends up being okay and we don't sure. have to redo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess I I'm just, yeah, giving you fair warning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this might not work. Okay. Um, we'll okay, here we go. Eight meters test. stepping forward. We'll see you. All right, I'm going to start it now. Yeah. Okay. Starting. Start time 11.08. Depth 723.3 meters. And Lily's watching the overlap. Yep. And I'm watching to make sure we don't run over the sponge. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Maybe the we terrain? stretched it on yeah, the terrain, but also oh, the tether yeah. seems pretty stretched out. Now, yep. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'll fix that. I think the tether um, just pulled our head it around. It didn't look like it before, but yeah, yeah. right now it's for sure. Yeah, you see that well, yeah. with the heave? Summer, will you watch the overlap? Will you sure. take cam off one? Yeah. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. The boat is not in the right position for this. Yeah. You need to come a little northwest. Okay. So for those of you watching... We got little side little of it. Yeah. A little photogrammetry. And we're mapping this area that has a lot that of uh, biology. Yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly getting, what it is. Yeah, it's exactly. All right, we're gonna get the uh, ship in a better position. Okay. And uh, we'll pause. We'll pause here, and then we'll start it again. Sounds good. So maybe just make note on that, Peyton. Please, thank you. Already on it. Great, thank you. <laughs> well, it's a huge heave. <laughs> Ooh, Nine, wow. Oh. Ten thousand. Oh wow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's a 10,000 on the tension. 10,000? Nice. Wow. 10,000 newtons. All right, I'm going to step Pounds. back towards you, and then mm -hmm. I'll get in position and wait for the ship to come over top of us, and we'll start this again. Sorry, Peyton, you have to write more numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, he'll live. Does the survey ID change? Uh, you're not on SPL. Um, it doesn't have to. Okay. No. If you can keep the same folder, that would be ideal because that way, like, for just note taking purposes later. Yeah. I.e., I'm lazy, but. <laughs> I. Mean, doesn't want to write. What is Never. It? Ten no, 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 no. Because like legitimately, <laughs> otherwise it'll be really weird. Because I'll be like, it's in like two or three different folders. No, yeah. Hello there again, sponge. All of this information is going into the dive report. I am looking for the sponge, but I'm not. I'm not. Seeing. Yeah. That's right. It's right. In the cameras. It's interesting. The front oh. of it looks more like a sponge, but the really long hold fast. I mean, so there are stocked sponges. Yeah. I'm trying to find one, but, or find idea, but. Yeah, it's just such a unique. Not having the best specimen. Because like a lot of these, you can sort of tell there's like a, like the osculum surface is really well defined. And in this one, it's, it's just sort of like yeah. rounded. Mm -hmm. um, osculum as in like, that's basically the hole that water comes out of in sponges. Um, their entire surface is used for filtering water in, and then everything is escaping through sort of those larger holes that you're seeing on the surface. For larger sponges, this actually creates like pretty sizable currents. Like you could swim up to a barrel sponge in a coral reef and get swept by it. Um, so we're just trying to find one that looks like this. So interesting. I 
Okay, this ship should settle out in a minute, and I think we should be pretty good here. Sweet. Thank you. Sorry about that. A lot going on. <laughs> so, Peyton, you say no new survey ID? Uh, if possible. If you need to log a new one, I can just change it. But... He I mean, secretly hopes that to. you will. No, I don't need to. Because we're doing the same transect, it doesn't really matter. Okay. All the photos will be like the same area, so they'll overlap still. Sweet. Cool. So I can I can do it. I can start. Um, we're flashing. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Language. <laughs> yeah, that could go many different ways. <laughs> so I, was, I had eleven, twelve paint for start time. Oh, the second time. Yeah. Okay. I will log that down. Awesome. Oh man, that's a lot of stock smudges. I'm just looking so at so many pretty. smudges. I know I'm scrolling. Did you see the shrimp shrimp prison earlier? No, I didn't. There was a shrimp trapped inside of a sponge. This the one we just passed or No, in this area. Oh no, I missed it. I think I wasn't up here. Before. Yeah, like the, the <laughs> sponge had like a sort of like network like sort of like really thin layer right over its osculum. Oh. So the shrimp had somehow gotten in, but then it was kind of in. stuck. <laughs> yeah. So it's just kind of living out its life in, I guess, shrimp prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he could probably break through. Maybe. Maybe. There's uh, something on that on Blue Planet. They're not. Very strong. Some of those species end up getting in when they're uh, much smaller, and then oh. yeah, never get out. They grow, they grow too out, big. Yeah. <laughs> they grow big to, too big to get out. Huh. I didn't, I didn't see us capture it. Really got only the stock part. And the tall one. Oh, on the one that was behind. Um, the big over. sponge. Yeah. I don't... Did we get the whole thing? I, I guess now we're going to get it. So it there definitely... Yeah, now we're going to get it. Seems to fit in the stocked sponge. Oh, interesting. Its face is flat. Like in the photogrammetry. Looks I'm completely flat. To find it. Where is it? What is this? A three by three survey? Ish. Yeah. Three ish by three ish. <laughs> I'm writing that. <laughs> <laughs> In case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not Rosella Day. Because the shape is different. Is it Eupactilla Day? Euplectilidae, sorry. It's got to be one of those. It. There's... Yeah. But none of them quite fit that pattern. But I can see. Oh, what about this one? Sacocalyx? Yeah, that's what I was looking at, too. Hmm. I think that's the only one that has a similar growth pattern. And has a stock. It just looks so different than the stock, than the, uh, stock pictures we have here. Yeah. I think Sacocalyx is maybe a good ID. Because there's a couple individuals that look similar. Hmm. Are you in the Euplectilid stocked? Yeah. 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 So, what determines. Because these are all essentially the same species that we're trying to look at, but they're. They form differently. I mean, they're still stalked, and they're still facing the same direction, operating the same way, and there's no like physical constraints around them. What causes them to kind of come out to the shapes they are if they're the same species? Might have to do with currents, maybe in initially in the beginning. Um, I'm trying to think what else can influence their growth form or also pattern. Also, like. 
sponges are well because some of the cells that in sponges like amoeba sites can move from area to area as well so they can be kind of freeform as well I don't know if that's a good explanation I'm not a sponge expert <laughs> Should I go a little more? Then the eight. Should I go nine or something? Get more of the the stock. Yeah. I mean, it, we're getting it. It kind of ends right there. What species yeah. did you think it was, Peyton? Um, I think it's a good. All right, sweet. We'll go with it. Better. It doesn't look like there's too much more beyond. You keep scrolling down yeah. a little bit. The sacrocalyx mm -hmm. looks like oh. the only one that has those large spaces in between. Think uh, up a little bit. I think it's those in the middle. Oh. Volcano. Jelly. Where? Oh, yeah. Those ones are going deeper, but right on the starboard of her right now. There are a couple on here that are listed. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. biology. <laughs> There's one. Um, <laughs> oh, no. We made more of them. <laughs> <laughs> Contributing to the overpopulation of cyclonophores. <laughs> okay, there is one that's found. Yeah, that's shower. what I was looking at. Because that would be in the range where mm -hmm. we are. And this could be it. This looks... Okay, I'm going to write that down as a tentative ID. Yeah, that sounds good. I think this is it. Yeah, I think that's a good... Hey, have you grabbed any captures of it? I have. Okay. Shit. Do you have a close zoom of it? Or no? I don't think so. No. Oh no. Right, <laughs> Beautiful. Howland. <laughs> you just hit the delete button? Yeah, it's a glitch that? in his oh. in his uh, software. Oh, did um if you try to delete zero, it shuts the program down. <laughs> As it should, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mario told ID. me about the um, the smaller sponges. The uh, Nereus, I think it was the one with the, like, the auto payout. Yeah. They couldn't figure out why it was like losing tether, and it was like would do it really weirdly at certain depths, certain times. Didn't there's no, you couldn't figure it out. And one day Mario's on the back deck, and he's like, "Are you guys paying out on the tether?" He's on the radio doing like a pre dive or whatever, and they're like, "No." They realized it was a space bar glitch, so every time somebody hit the space bar on the keyboard, the tether would like pay itself <laughs> out. It was like, oh gosh, that's a pretty big bug to find. And there's no way they would have found it after like probably another couple of a long time of troubleshooting. Yeah, it just years, happened to be that yeah. he was out there and somebody hit the space bar. <laughs> it was like, oh, gotta get that out of there. Yeah, awesomeness. <laughs> Oh, computers. <laughs> Seems like a pretty obscure bug. Yeah, like, it's a hard one to f I mean, it's good that you found it. But yeah, I don't know. Another obscure bug in this software is the first time that you put in auto auto altimeter the very first time you use it the vehicle drives immediately down <laughs> and then but so you have to like so you know it so you just go quickly like hit the button the vehicle starts to drive down and you and you power cycle you like yeah basically power cycle the button get exactly. out get back in again yeah and then, and then it works fine like from that point on it's fine yeah <laughs> as long as you know uh, okay. how, to, how to do it uh, yeah right it's just a, okay you know just checking. Did you really want to use all it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we actually do want to use that. So I think this was the extent that Chris wanted to go. Um, Hannah, does this look good to you? 
Yeah, what's the measurement on what we just did? Uh, I need to get that screen uh, yeah, you zoomed in, zoom in on, NAB on the on NABG. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Looks good though. Uh, the DVL track's gone. Though. Oh, there it is. Just kidding. Uh, it was faint. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit less than five by eight. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. We'll finish up the rest of that three line. Three-ish by three-ish. Five, five, <laughs> was five by eight, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're at the end of that, and we'll record the end time. <laughs> the hey, end You said time. ish. Yeah, you did. You did. That's what's in my notes. <laughs> All right, that should be the end there. All right, thank you. End time log. Uh, end depth is also 723.3 meters. Um, end time is 11.23. Perfect, thank you. Okay. That was our photo mosaic one for this dive. Yes. Yes. Second waypoint. Okay. Um, it looks interesting here. I'd say let's just keep going up, and if it gets less interesting, we'll, then we'll go a little more to the east. Are we still on our quest for five organisms of in the same species? Yeah, so I found out that that request was from the same person that's doing the benthic bar or barcoding of like invertebrate speci species. Mm -hmm. So like, I think part of that is maybe to measure like genetic diversity within a species. So it might not necessarily need to be in the same place next to each other. Like, I think it could be over the course of the dive. Of the dive, yeah. yeah. Let's sample some squat lobsters. Okay, so Scott, we're heading up, head pretty much north. It's at 355. Roger that. If you want to get that specific. Ish. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start saying that. North-ish. North-ish. Yeah. Roger that. I'll come around to north-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from our viewers? I was about to ask. Yeah, not yet. What? But oh viewers wait, keep you know sending them in. Are there many people on? I'm still taking pictures. We're about a hundred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lots of pictures. Russia, <laughs> Netherlands, Sweden, Israel, Austria, New Zealand, Norway, Japan, Finland, Germany, Canada, Puerto Rico, Italy, India, Ireland, France, Spain, Denmark, Czech Republic, Chile, Switzerland, and Bulgaria. Awesome. Yeah, that's a pretty nice. Could I get a zoom on the sponge? Just really quick. Yeah. And get a still. There you go. Yeah. Do you get one with the lasers already? Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. Very big. That's a lot wow. of millimeters. Thank you very much. Beautiful. You want one without the lasers? Uh, sure. Okay. Got some on photo it. album Summer's all right over here. it. Go summer, Spider go job. summer, go summer, yes. go. Summer. Yes. <laughs> Crushed it. It's interesting that you can sort of see the material get more white as it gets near the stock. Mm -hmm. Is that just because it's denser, do you think? Or do you Maybe. think it actually, like, has a um, different chemi chemical makeup? That's the wrong word. That's Biological makeup. <laughs> My guess would be that it, it has a denser material, like some of the material that... So sponges use slurites, which are, like, little... Um, little like spikes or like spiked objects made out of 
different materials. So for these glass sponges, it's silica. Um, my guess would be that there would be more of those slarites, or they might be fused together uh, just to make a harder structure on that sponge. But it's more, it might be just more concentrated. Yeah. Okay. How close are we to our fourth waypoint? Our fourth waypoint? Just looking. Oh, let me. Hit, I I can check that. Let's see. <laughs> it's um, cool how they were gonna end up at the top cams. of the peak. We bubble, bubble cam, Roger. For current reference, we're 700 meters oh from our third waypoint. Okay. So. Ooh, can we get a still of that? Yep. So we got a ways. We got we got a ways. Ish. I don't know. Do I want to go over the edge here? I was it looks pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty steep. Should we maybe go? to starboard instead. Would that take us uh, up the ridge if we go to the ridge? 1,500 right. meters, Brian. 1,500 uh, meters? I think yeah. we're just nice. like, we're right on the spine here. Okay, maybe let's stay on top. It look, oh, yeah. doesn't giant sponge. look like there's much below. Whoa. It's pretty steep. Oh, wow. There's, I'm facing east right now. Okay. Um, you know, we're going north. I, mean, I, I could kind of lateral and just keep stuff in view. Okay, yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. Is that a starfish on that sponge in center screen? Oh, I'm not sure. Can uh, you get a zoom It in? might be a basket star. Can I zoom? Yeah, please. Basket stars Scott? are also crab Oh, yeah, yeah, right? definitely, definitely. Hello. What is that? It does look like a basket star. Basket star. Wee. Ooh. You want to get closer? Uh, maybe a slightly, just so we can get a better look at them. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Well, and just to check, basket stars are also crinoids, correct? Yes. Awesome. There you go. Zoom They're on related. Zoom on that. Yeah. In the same family. Ooh, pretty. Oh, it's cool. not fully extended right now, though. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised. Hmm. Maybe he's already captured some food. <laughs> I want to see if we can get wow. an ID on these sponges as well, just because they're very... There's a lot that look very similar in this area, just that same sort of tall, slightly fan-shaped. Yeah. It's a big scoop. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> pretty you much. You can see they're facing the current, so they're yeah. able to kind of funnel in, per se, the food. Look how fast it's going by, too. Yeah. yeah. What's the speed on the current, you know? Well, you could do some math right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Put the lasers up so we have a distance to measure it with. And um, then measure the refraction yeah, of the really lasers in the water as it moves. The surface current is 0.7 knots. Okay. So the answer to the question coming in, uh, we have the entire crew above the surface of the water and zero people underwater because we are using remotely operated vehicles. So none of us are actually underwater. No. Nope. It provides uh, a way for us to dive safely. If you have uh, manned submersibles going down, you have a long time to get down and then have a short time on bottom before you have to come back up. Having ROVs, you don't have to worry about that because we just shift change watch change every four hours and we can, can just keep doing what we're doing until we uh, are ready to finish our dive. Much safer too. Is that I'm thinking maybe it's a polyapogon species because I, I found one result that would be at this depth. Okay. Um, that's under Amphidiscocyta. Oops. Right, let me check it out. Thank you. Something eat the top of that sponge back there? Yeah, hey, what's the ship doing there, Lily? Uh, he was adjusting the heading to face into the into the swell and wind. Okay. Um, um, and he's he's stepping. So the group uh, is Amphidiscocyta. So I'm 20 meters up. He's coming. Roger that. Altitude. And our delta is like 15. And then it's polyapogon species. It's one of the few ones on yeah, here that's I'll just hang out here and wait in this depth range. Right? Plenty to look at. Sort of towards yeah. the lower third of the page. 
Yeah, I'm just having issues where I can't actually load the images. Like yeah, they they're take a little bit. in the preview, but it just won't sh show the actual full. What do you think of that one? Yeah. Which which one do you want to zoom on? We have we have time. We're waiting for the ship. Oh no, we're we're talking about images in the back. <coughs> Sorry, oh, okay. <laughs> we're looking at IDs. Oh wow, look at these basket stars. Oh. Can you get some shots of those? Yeah, he's yeah. gonna zoom in on that. Out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna land. Oh yes, please. And we're gonna hang out and wait for the ship to okay. figure out what it's gonna do. It's nice we're on top where the current is, so they're all fanned out. Yeah, this is a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Sweet spot, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Ooh, very beautiful. All right. Wow. National Geographic cover right there. <laughs> Pretty Four beautiful. Oh, there's so many arms. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Ooh. That is a lot of arms. Yeah. Awesome. I think yeah. they usually have like five main branches, but then they like split. Actually, I'm not sure for this these guys. This one looks like, yeah. <laughs> I should look that up before I say words. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it has to be doing a pretty big number on that sponge. I mean, it's blocking so much of it. Yeah, the sponge probably isn't too happy about it. <laughs> no. Stealing all its food. Mm -hmm. Let's learn about basket stars. Let's learn. So that's 724 meters. Okay, the ship is pretty oh. much caught up. You are okay. under the ship currently. I'm going to start sending it this way if you want to just kind of move cool. north, but you can face that way. Move north-ish. Yeah. I stand north -ish. corrected. So basket stars are actually a taxon of brittle stars. They're in Ophiroidea, not in Crinoidea. Mm. So they're related to crinoids as um, as being part of echinoderms, but like it's a loose association. Just looking at them interacting with the sponges reminds me that they're like the makes me think of the people who like bet one dollar over what you just <laughs> get and the uh, price is right oh my gosh my brother has gotten <laughs> way into the price is right this this year i don't i don't know why he just loves it and that makes him so mad like i was watching with him and he's like i hate when people do that it's so rude <laughs> like <laughs> it's anyway. a strategy though and it's a strategy all right, so the ones that the pictures that I am seeing, it does seem like a lot of basket stars have five main branches, or at least they'll have pentaradial symmetry. Very cool. Is it going downhill here? It does seem to be that doing that, huh? So we're he we're right now we're headed east. Is that correct? Well, I'm facing east, but we're You're driving north. We're driving north. Okay. Yeah. Well, now the ship's going east. <laughs> so. The ship is figuring it out it slowly. Is, it's figuring itself out. Yeah. It, it's trying. I'm pretty sure because of the rolling going on right now, we're like headed into the swells. Mm. So we're being kind of pushed other directions. Yeah. So we're just kind of waiting right now? Or? The ship's moving. Okay. Scott can maneuver a little bit. Hey, Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks for tuning in. Send us your questions. We'd love to answer them. We are currently um, diving off of Tutuila in American Samoa, and we are 
continue to explore the National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa. That up until 2012 was uh, a quarter of a square mile. And then got a, a bit of a boost in the terms of over 13,000 more square miles in size. It was the originally the smallest and then went to the largest, right? Yep. Correct. Bottom to the top. Yep. Nice. Just <laughs> like that. That's that spiral Ooh. looking one to the left. I think that's another sponge. You want to zoom in on that? Just a different color. I would like to. Hey. It almost looks like it's coated in sediment. It does, yeah, yeah they're compared to the one like on the right. It's like a mirror image, but one has like a filter on it on the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lily, you're on Snapchat. What filter is that? <laughs> Sepia? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, full circle. <laughs> yeah, last. There you go. I landed. You can zoom in okay. now. Yeah. Those do look the same. Is it coated in some other microorganism? Not sure. That's so funny. I wonder if it's. Uh, or is like the one on the right looking into the future in and the one on the left? Ferrite? Let's see. Because a lot of those have a very similar, like, sort of knob like growth pattern. Oh, they're in a different depth, though. They do look similar. But they're, these ones are deeper. Yeah. It almost looks like a carcass. Yeah. Yeah, like the skeleton left behind. Yeah. Maybe. This is a sponge. This is a sponge on drugs. There's a little Any face questions? in the sponge. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> making a little smiley face. <laughs> now, Lily, to the left of that, what is that? In the oh. geology right there? It's a rock. <laughs> it appears oh, no. to be forming some type of shape or pattern. There we go. Where the light <laughs> seems to be manipulated in various <laughs> Good morning, Lily. <laughs> in various ways. Is that a, a crevasse? A camera? <laughs> crevasse. A gap? Oh. An indentation? An or absence of mass. Let's go area. look at it. Let's go look at it. <laughs> Can, can we maybe put the lasers on it and see how the light interacts with this <laughs> this object, this unknown entity? Seems like the light should be able to penetrate into that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure. interested to, to see out. if the light to will actually out. like lasers light on. brighten lasers up on. the rest Let's of see it. Let's Scott. <laughs> <laughs> But how does the light work? <laughs> <laughs> how does the light work? Oh. Now, Lily, it seems to be shifting upon oh. entering said space. It's oh. a nice rock we're looking at there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a, oh, there's a cup coral. coral. That's Jinx. what I was zooming in. All right, the ship has figured itself out. Well, so we're, the we're ship's we're moving, we're so <laughs> we're going to move past this. Okay, you're full wide. Right. Couldn't so find an ID on these guys. Yeah, I <laughs> still think it's probably in that group. Yeah, it could be. There's just Maybe they just have an ID one at this shallow. Because yeah, all those I, others were between 1,000 and 3,000. I did in the list that was like... Was that was shallower? Was at this depth, but the it seemed like a much larger specimen. See. It's oh, somewhere in there. Yeah. So we're remotely I can operating look vehicles. Uh, of it. Argus can go to depth of 6,000 meters. Yeah, that one? this yeah. could Hercules be it. Okay. It maybe How just wasn't I as bushy. I'll, I'll just write it down as uh, tentative ID for small, Faraday, smaller knob. Faria. Uh, sponges as Faria species. Perfect. Okay. 
Hannah, I hear you have an Etsy shop. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your Etsy shop? <laughs> it's kind of been out of commission for a while, but <laughs> oh. at one point in time, a few years ago, I do macrame. Mm -hmm. So I had a little macrame shop, and on there I had um, mostly just like bracelets. I would do these little wish bead bracelets or... I have done like belts and purses and guitar Ooh. straps. Recently I've been experimenting with um, different like patterns and doing them larger red to make like, um, I guess like there's a red wall thing. decorations. I think that's an octo coral. There's a yeah, oh, little floating by. Something's floating by. Hey friend. That's pretty cool. So I that's how you a pronounce guitar that word. Strap? Macrame. Yeah, so they take about like four to five hours to make. They can take oh. a long time, depending on the pattern. But yeah, I'd like to. It's something I've done since I was a kid. <laughs> and kind of gotten to more complex patterns. You hit the space bar? I think I just <laughs> did hit the space bar. <laughs> see what just. <laughs> yeah, I saw what happened. Is she going still on this guy? Yeah, so I'll grab cool. some more. There you go, Peyton. Oh, Thank you very so much. Nice on this. All right. Huh. Wonder. So this is definitely an octa coral, right? Yeah. Let's okay. See. I'm gonna look. Octa. I think we saw one of these on one of the other dives previously. Soft corals, maybe. Could also be under soft. Yeah. Should be. Let's see. Thanks for those questions coming in. Um, Hercules is loud. Uh, you are correct. I think so. so yeah, it's somewhere in the soft fish. corals. Probably. Um, might be a lot. maybe. Go away. All depends. Oh, that's at a different depth. Uh, pseudo anthem. Oh, how about pseudo anthemastus? Is that the towards the bottom of soft corals? There's one that's listed for this depth, and it looks oh, pretty similar. Here. Yeah, it does. There's something dark to the right of it. Appears to be some type of. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Should I write it down as pseudoantho mass? Yeah, I think this. Yeah, I think this is it. Mm-hmm. Looks very similar. It's at the right depth too. So, did you just shut down your Etsy shop because of like the amount of effort and like you know job balance or? Um, yeah, I just haven't really put anything into it. I haven't really yeah. put the time into it recently, so it's kind of there might stuff. Bill, blah, excuse me, still be stuff listed. When but I, I checked, don't know it didn't show anything. Oh, okay, it yeah. probably expired. It's then. still got a couple I think of they years. They expire, expire after a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to get into metal work. Ooh. Yeah. So. What sort of metal work? Just like doing like soldering and stuff to make like metal bangles. Ooh. Would be nice to do like, do um, stuff with stones too, like do rings yeah. or pendants eventually, but you need some uh, tools for that. A few tools, a few so different steep ones. Steep right here. Steeper and rocky. Wow. Yeah, there's a really cool um, tutorial online for making like pendants and necklaces with LEDs like embedded into them, and then so like oh. it's like a wire structure that holds like a battery, and it's like it's like very very small, like very simple wire design, okay. and then you like embed LEDs into it, and then it like creates a current. And then has a little just wearable electronic. What is it in front of us right now? Yeah, can you it looks zoom like a stock sponge. Are you gonna touch something, or are we just gonna hang yeah. out? Uh, I'm gonna land. Uh, okay. Maybe. With we'll the see how close I can get. Yeah, it's oh. an anemone. A little rocky. Yeah. Anemone. Go ahead, zoom in. Upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're doing my job for me. I know you say that hey. like it's a habitual hey. thing, Scott, but I don't. I don't think you need that right now. <laughs> Come on! You don't want to zoom in on that? I do. <laughs> 
we did. We just manually zoomed in. Yeah, <laughs> also a self-sampling sponge. Ian was really good at that. A self-sampling sponge. Is that a Rosella Day sponge? I don't see. Actually, it looks... It's not very round. There's a lot of biology going on in that there small is. area. There is. <laughs> yeah, it's not nearly as round, though. This is yeah. true. But, like, I can't see the sort of, like, concave <laughs> structures <laughs> that are on the back of all the other ones. So yeah. I'm, like, assuming that it's on the other side. Mm -hmm. What if you had a little thruster that responded when you did that? Yeah, right. <laughs> <Popped> out. <laughs> hmm. Summer added to the wish list. Yep, it's all <laughs> there already. <laughs> Got a good list going, I think. you get a couple stills in this paint? Yeah. That sponge looks kind of dark. Is it sepia? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I lost my um, It's because we're no, so close it to it that sepia. the lights... <laughs> 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 oh, hey, what about... Oh, that one's too deep. I did not realize that there were depths on this until now, and now oh, like, really? this is so <laughs> useful. Depths yeah, on what? Helps you on the ID on guide. Our ID guide. Yeah. Oh, so no, by the way, audience, uh, <laughs> Noah has a very helpful uh, benthic ID guide. Uh, if you search up like benthic deep water Noah guide, uh, it's this really great interactive resource, and they have not only listed by taxonomy. Uh, different species, but they also include keys for what areas they're found in and at what depths. Coming up a little bit. So right it's a very useful yeah. resource, and that's one of the Seems tools like that we're using in the back row. Sloping upwards as we tend. It looks like it'll flatten out north. for a bit. Yeah. But there. yes, it's yeah. going to be like pretty slow slope okay. for a little. But yes, it'll be sloping up. There's a small a fish, fish center. I was just gonna say, can we start a transect? Since you said it's kind of, it's gonna be relatively flat, or general slope. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. This is our second uh, fish. The ship seems to be uh, behaving. Did they do a fish transect right. already? They did one on the last shift. Okay. Uh -huh. So this will be the second one. Ship is behaving. Let's get. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, okay. Right. Rock Ridge area with sponges and. Small coral. Is the ship, ship just getting blown around by the wind? Yeah, the current. Yeah. The current's pretty. Uh, pretty the strong. wind down there is actually the even stronger wind. than the current. Yeah. What's <laughs> the wind doing? It's I thought you were talking about <laughs> sub sea. I was like, <laughs> Brian. It's the water wind. You slept. <laughs> uh, the wind is yeah, 13 knots from the east. It's sub aerial. Okay. Wind is mild. We shall overcome <laughs> <laughs> the wind element. Are we ready? Let's just head due north for this. I'm going to start the ship moving and then get the cameras ready. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll come up on top of this ridge and start it up here. Awesome. Roger, I will okay. come up with you. Yeah. It's a great question coming in about what kind of life could you find at five to 6,000 meters, and uh, it just largely kind of depends on where you are. Because if you're diving on some type of hydrothermal event or if you're just on kind of a very deep abyssal plain, you're going to see quite a few different things. Or not a lot of things. Not a lot of food out there on the uh, abyssal plane. Who knows what you'd find? It's part of the reason we go and look. Yep. Peyton generating survey ID. 